this is going to be transforming the way monitoring is done in, at any hospital at any level, not just the neonatal intensive care unit. Every year at the Montreal Children's Hospital, nearly 900 newborns depend on wired vital sign monitors to survive. To help improve care, reduce hospital stays, and help parents bond and cuddle with their babies during their first moments, researchers here are now testing wireless vital sign sensors, the Smart Hospital Project a Canadian first. With the wire technology, for example, in this baby here, you need a sensor in the hand to give oxygen saturation, three sensors in the body of the baby to provide the heart rate of this baby, and another sensor here to give the temperature. So you can see there is a lot of wires. The current technology has been used since the 1970s. Dr. Guilemi Santana, neonatologist at the Montreal Children's, says nurses at the hospital estimated that 20 to 25 percent of their working time is time taking care of these cables, connecting, disconnecting, and cleaning them. They can restrict the baby's movement, increase the risk of an infection, and even make simple tasks like feeding, changing, and holding the baby more difficult for parents. You don't want to hurt them. With the new technology, one sensor like this one will give temperature, breathing, heart rate, and another one will give the oxygen saturation. So basically, we are trading five sensors by two and no wires. The sensors send a Bluetooth signal to the nursing station where it can be constantly monitored, including vital signs that are now not possible to detect, like air sound going to the chest or bowel sounds. One sensor is placed on the baby's chest and other on either a wrist or ankle. This is estimated 15 to 30 times less expensive than what we have now because those sensors have a life of one to two years that can be reutilized. Making this research possible, the donors, foundation and team, made up of a group of experts in many different areas, including computer science, engineers, medicine and parents. Progressing faster than expected, Dr. Santana sees another two to five years before the technology will be well established. Still, further testing will be needed at that stage before it can be implemented as a standard of care. We need to test for safety and efficacy extensively before you can adopt a new technology, but looks very promising. In Montreal, Pamela Pagano, City News.